Imagine a Linux distribution that looks and feels like Windows 11, but was quietly built by a Microsoft engineer. Is this a helpful bridge for users or a stealthy backdoor into open source? Today we dig into Anduin OS, what it is, who's behind it, what the community thinks, and why the story matters. Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you want balanced, fact-based takes on the shifting world of desktop Linux, hit subscribe. In this video, an explainer on Anduin OS, the new Ubuntu-based remix that's catching attention for its polish and the surprising identity of its developer. What is Anduin OS? Anduin OS is a desktop Linux distribution built on top of Ubuntu. Its goal is deliberate, make Linux feel familiar to Windows users by reshaping the desktop and workflows in a Windows-like way while keeping the underlying stability of Ubuntu. Who built it? The project is primarily authored by Anduin Shu. Several tech outlets and community posts identify Shu as a Microsoft software engineer who developed Anduin OS as a personal project, working on it in his spare time rather than as a commercial venture. Evidence for and limits of a Microsoft connection. Here's the important distinction. The creator's employment history and the project's provenance are two separate things. Public reporting shows the maintainer works or worked at Microsoft, but that does not mean Microsoft as a company sponsors or controls Anduin OS. The repo, releases, and documentation are openly hosted and the project's activity and release notes are public. What the code and project pages tell us. You can inspect the code yourself. Anduin OS publishes source and build instructions on GitHub and public docs, which is consistent with standard open source practice. That kind of transparency makes independent auditing possible a strong signal that this is a community-visible project rather than a closed corporate product. Community reaction. Reaction has been mixed. Many users praise the polish and the approachable, Windows-like onboarding for newcomers. Others are skeptical, not because the project is technically weak, but because they worry about large vendors' influence and about the long-term intentions behind vendor-affiliated maintainers. You can see these debates across Reddit threads. Historical parallels and why this matters. Big tech participating in open source is not new. Microsoft itself has contributed to many OSS projects over the last decade. The difference here is perception. A distro styled after Windows, authored by a Microsoft affiliated engineer, triggers fears of embrace extend. The idea that a company can use familiarity to steer an ecosystem. But perception and reality must be separated with evidence. Is this a personal project, or is there corporate strategy behind it? So far, the public record points to the former, a personal project. But the optics are worth discussing. Potential impacts. Winners and losers. Upsides. Lower barrier to entry. Windows users can migrate more easily, which could grow the Linux desktop audience. Competition for polish. Other distros may up their UX game. Downsides. Risks. Fragmentation. Another Ubuntu spin increases distro choice but can split community resources. Vendor influence concerns. If big vendors push for needle-moving integrations, the community will need to scrutinize motives and code paths. The Trojan horse question. Realistically, is Anduin OS a Trojan horse? Based on currently public facts, no direct corporate backing or closed source components have been shown. The correct community response is vigilance, not panic. Inspect the code, monitor releases, and check for any closed source links or telemetry in distributed images. How to scrutinize Anduin OS. Practical steps. One, check the GitHub commit history and contributors for corporate accounts or sponsored PRs. Two, Review the license and third-party package list for any proprietary blobs. 3. Run live ISOs in a VM and use network monitoring to watch outbound connections. 4. Follow community channels, Reddit, GitHub discussions, for first-hand reports. What this means for the future of desktop OSs. We're seeing boundaries blur. 
Large companies working in open source, community projects borrowing UX ideas from other ecosystems, and users prioritizing experience over ideology. That convergence can be healthy, better UX and more users, but it demands active civic tech habits from the community. Transparency, auditing, and clear governance norms. Final take, my short verdict. Anduin OS is an interesting, well-executed Linux remix that could help many users migrate off Windows. The Microsoft employee origin of its author explains the design choices and made the project newsworthy, but it's not, at least from public evidence, a corporate product. The right response from the community is clear-eyed engagement. Test it, audit it, and join the conversation rather than assume the worst. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.